Hey guys, I'm at the Texas Auto Show and we have a brand new sponsor this year, NBC and Telemundo. I'm in the middle of the centennial bidding and as you can see behind me, there are lots of vehicles for you to see. The auto show is not gonna disappoint this year. We're at Media Day and we're gonna give you a sneak peek of all the vehicle reveals and all the things that you need to check out when you visit the auto show. You need a map for the auto show, you can find that on the website at bigtex.com or in the visitor guide. We're gonna see you at the fair and at the auto show. We are in the truck zone and in the Ram display where you guys just revealed some great new heavy duty trucks. What is the one thing that Farago should know about the new heavy duty trucks? How the styling of these new trucks is absolutely incredible. Right. We focus on things like capability and durability and reliability yep. with trucks and can this truck get the job done? But one thing we don't focus enough on is how good they look. And yep. that's what I think these trucks yeah. bring to the- They're looking the really sharp. Trucks. You guys have a lot of tr new trim packages and other things that you brought out. And there's a, there's a theme. I, I saw the black edition and the night. Well, what? so I, I think our customers are, are asking for more customization and okay. personalization and, and across the lineup. So we haven't strayed from what we've brought to the market for so many years. We still offer a variety of trim packages. Yeah. I think that meets uh, all buyers needs and wants but what we're hearing more and more about is personalization customization and we believe the black and the night packages that we're showing here at the state yeah. fair of texas do just that yeah there are some really good looking trucks so i think everybody's going to have a look at is there anything if you gave fair goes advice one vehicle that they really have to come see in this display boy that's tough i you know obviously all i'd like to come all see all of them but my personal favorite is the rebel black the rebel black combines the off-road chops that you all look for but now we're bringing the mm -hmm. excellent style the great style to that particular vehicle so the rebel black is probably my favorite and it will be super easy for you guys to find the ram display in the truck zone because you guys went high this year there is a truck yes. and a large tower out front that's showing that and we I mean, told everybody earlier is you can't go higher than big tax <laughs> you know that so you that your truck well, is just below the big texas height yes yes well you know it's and this is a first for me i'm actually i'm thrilled to be here so thank you yeah. for having us this is my we first wanted to make sure it was this, nice and toasty yes. for you mike's well, visiting us from michigan from so Southeast michigan so this is a little bit of adjustment but uh, nonetheless we're very proud to be here and, and uh, ram trucks in texas go together like biscuits yep. and gravy we feel like and so just so thank you for Sorry. having us and we're looking forward to a great right. show this year we'll see you in the truck zone we're at the Texas Auto Show in the truck zone in the Toyota exhibit, and I have an A here with me. You were a Texan. That's right. You were talking a little bit. What's your favorite thing at the fair? I'm a proud Texan. It's so fun for Toyota to be part of the Texas State Fair. We've been doing this for as long as I can remember. Okay. Really thrilled to be here. Our activation is for the fans. Yeah. I mean, that's really what it's all about. And yes, we have some new, exciting yeah. product yeah. that we love to we show off and, yeah, and get them engaged. This. Absolutely. So one thing before we start talking about cars, sure. you guys have a really interesting exhibit that's towards the back of the truck zone. That's it's right. Nice. You want to tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so it's all new for this year. You may know that Toyota is the official mobility sponsor for the Worldwide Olympics and Paralympic Games. That's great. It's a really huge in endeavor for Toyota. Mm -hmm. And really what it does is it helps us show how Toyota is transforming from a car company to a mobility company. And what we have back there, and we hope that the fans can get to check it out, is an activation that shows what the partnership is all about. And we work with our partner, the National Wheelchair Basketball Association. Oh, fun. And we have an activation back there that they've helped us set up, which helps fans grow empathy for what it's like to be in a wheelchair and shoot a basketball from a wheelchair and really get to see what it's like to be an athlete. So. We think the fans are really going to love that. I think that's that. going to be great. So you don't have to bring the kids. Anybody all ages can go participate that's in right. that. That's right. That's right. All inclusive. So you guys uh, were showcasing several vehicles. I think a few are behind us. The that's Highlander is right. one of them. So the 2020 Highlander is all new. It was okay. redesigned from the ground up. Wow. Okay. So no. Nope. Is that why it says prototype? That's why it says prototype. Okay. So right. we have a special sneak preview because wow. they're not available yet in dealerships. But so uh, this is one of the first places. This is the, the first time in it. Texas it's ever been you shown. Hear that, everybody? So everybody, this is one. Of, this is you can only see it here. That's right exactly now. right. That's so it's all new technology, uh, completely new platform. We call it the TNGA platform. So it's longer, it's wider, it's lower profile, which gives it better driving dynamics. Mm -hmm. But what families I think are going to appreciate is the interior flexibility. Yeah. So it's a little bit longer, so you have more, more space, space behind the third row. Uh, and then from a technology standpoint, you know, I'm sure everybody has a smartphone, even the yeah. kids. So now we have Amazon Alexa compatibility in the vehicle. You have Google Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. So really catering to the needs everybody of a modern up. consumer. You just get in, you have all this stuff at your fingertips. Everything you need right at your fingertips. Awesome. And uh, we're really excited about this. So um, I've been known to be a bit of a, um, what uh, they call an adventurous driver. I like to go off road sometimes. I love that. Uh, is there a vehicle maybe right behind us that I should <laughs> be looking at out here potentially? 
Well, uh, that's great. So Toyota has a lot of off-road okay. vehicles, and I would tell you that probably the, one of the most famous uh, vehicles for Toyota in the off-road space has been the 4Runner. Okay. And the 4Runner has been around for decades. The newest member of the 4Runner family mm -hmm. is the Toyota uh, 4Runner Venture Grade, which is this one right here. So some really cool off-road features such as crawl assist, mm -hmm. multi-terrain select, depending on what kind Where of terrain you're, you're driving on. That's probably good but for me. One of the great features is these Fox internal bypass shocks that really give you top level off-road performance. So right. this is not the only one. There's many awesome. others in the lineup like the 4Runner TRD Pro, but this is yep. a great one. So to, be to sure, come by Truck Zone, check it out. And also Toyota's exhibit in the automobile building. Here at the Texas Auto Show in the Truck Zone in front of the GMC exhibit, which is really stunning this year. And Great. I'm here with Duncan. You were visiting us from Michigan. Yep. Uh, we wanted to make sure it was a nice warm day for you. So welcome to Texas. Yep. Lovely to be here. Um, we are standing in front of what you guys just uh, rolled out to the press. So tell me a little bit about this truck. Well, this truck uh, right here is the Denali heavy duty truck, a dually configuration, capable of towing 35 and a half thousand pounds. New in market, just arriving in showrooms now. We believe the best heavy duty pickup truck in the industry. 35,000 pounds is like one and a half big Texas. Do you realize that? Big Tex weighs 25,000 pounds. You could definitely tow him around for us. Is oh, that we, what you're saying? We said? certainly could, yeah. We certainly My understanding could. is this is also one of the ones that have a really interesting tailgate, right, as well? Yeah, this has got many uh, industry leading features, okay. but the one that we can also uh, show on the light duty pickup is the Multi Pro tailgate. This okay. is a six function tailgate, which really offers all kinds of flexibility and utility in the pickup truck. It's something that's completely unique to GMC. Make sure you check it out okay. if you come into the GMC Yeah, stand. I mean, I'm sure all the product experts would love to show you guys um, how that works because it gives you steps and things and lets you open it up and make it longer and things like that for when you're hauling things around, right? Absolutely does. And then all right. when all that's finished, it also, you can fit a kicker audio system for a seventh function. So well, the perfect tailgate well, feature. Well, no kidding. That sounds like a perfect truck for a lot of Texans. <laughs> So one of the other things is I hear is there's a lot of cameras on there. So we have a boat, we have to tow it to the lake. There's 15 cameras, right? How would that help me? Well, it creates, uh, it removes all the anxiety okay. from towing. We've Good. talked to customers Good. and uh, I think it's 80% say uh, they feel anxious about towing yeah. and the other 20% just won't admit it. That's generally <laughs> what happens. The cameras really remove that anxiety. They provide very uh, seamless uh, looking visibility views. When you drive it, it's really outstanding. The one thing that it does, which is just unbelievable, is there's cameras which will make it look as if whatever you're towing just disappears. Mm -hmm. You can see right that through it. So, so you can see what's behind yeah, it, so you it, don't have to worry. And it creates, it's super safe, it improves safety, it, it removes the anxiety sure, and makes it such a more I'm pleasant sure experience. I'm sure backing up, that makes it really great when you're backing up your boat into the lake yep. or in a trailer and anywhere else. That must be amazing. What is the one other thing other than this truck behind us that you would recommend our fairgoers go see in this exhibit? Well, I think you've got to see the AT4, which is available on the light duty okay. and the heavy duty, but also on the all new Acadia 2020 model year. Yep. It's a new Acadia mid-size three row SUV and it's available in AT4. Please make sure you check it okay. out. Okay, That sounds great. So we'll see you in the truck zone. Hey guys, we're at the Texas Auto Show in the truck zone in the Nissan exhibit. Which is always, you guys always go big. You win for the most shipping container stack for this year. You Absolutely, and trucks up on top of them. Well, you do. Yeah. You do. You do like to put things up high. I'm here with Tiago, and you guys just revealed this vehicle behind us, this truck behind us, right? This is the new 2020 Nissan Titan. We just revealed it, and yeah. we can't wait to have everybody come in and check it out. Yeah. So what should I go look for? I'm gonna go look at the Titan. What are the few things that I should really pay attention to? I'll tell you, first starts with design. It looks great. If you check it out, we upgraded the design. It looks more aggressive, more rugged. And um, on top of this, we're putting a lot of technology on the Titan. Okay. Okay, technology that customers want. Things like bigger screens, Apple CarPlay standard, uh, safety shield 360 is another uh, key thing okay. for us. Forward emergency braking and also rear emergency braking. That's the that only is, truck in the segment that offers that. That is and that's standard. That's actually good. I found out that the hard way yesterday when I backed into something. So exactly. I would, I would have really appreciated that uh, having something stop before I ran into something yesterday. So. We have a few new things too. The, the new Titan now has a panoramic moonroof, dual yeah. panel, the gigantic moonroof. And it looks great. So great. if anybody comes see it, I think they'll be happy. Yeah. They should check it out. So what else um, should you do when you're over here in the truck zone? I see, um, and we're not gonna be able to show you guys, but behind us is, it looks like a pretty fun activation. We have a little test here. We wanna okay. see who's tight and tough. 
Yeah. So you gotta come in and Tighten hit. Tighten tough, okay. And we chat, we'll come to see do it you, and you'll be able do to do you it. Gonna, do you win a prize? You may. Maybe? Yeah, okay, yeah. we'll have Absolutely. to, you guys are gonna have to come do that. Additionally, Nissan actually has an exhibit in the Centennial building as well, where Absolutely. you can see a lot of other vehicles not just the, the trucks are here, all of the other vehicles are over in the Centennial building. Absolutely, including the all new version. Okay, so you're from Nashville, you've been to the fair a few times. What are your favorite things about Texas so far? Well, first of all, Texas food. I love okay. steak and I love come here and eat well, but I love the people too. Okay. Everyone treats me well, so I can't wait to spend more time in Texas yeah. with all of you. We were telling him he has to stay next time. Go to the fair and have some great fired food. Absolutely, so. Jennifer. Right. Thanks guys. Thank you, thank you. Hey guys, we are in the Texas Auto Show. We are in the automotive building in the beautiful Jeep Space exhibit. And I'm here with Brandon. He's down visiting us from Michigan, so we wanted to make sure it was nice and toasty for you today. But we are here in the cool air conditioning, which is one of the best secrets at the fair. Do you realize that? That the automobile building and the Centennial building of the auto show is nice and cool. So if it is a warm day at the fair, you can come in here, see all the cars, and cool off in the air conditioning. Perfect. I'm sure people love that. Yeah, we were telling him we wanted to make it nice and hot today so you feel like you're at home in Michigan. So you were just telling me you had your first Jeep in 15. Bought my first time I was 15. And now I'm up here telling the world about the new the Jeep Wrangler one. Eco Diesel. So what what is so special about this new Eco Diesel? So this is the first time we've ever offered a diesel in diesel? Jeep Wrangler. This oh, really? is going to be the most fuel efficient. Okay. Wrangler ever, and it's also going to have the best driving range of any Wrangler ever. So that means you get a lot of miles per gallon, is that what exactly. you're saying? Exactly, so, yep, great. yep. Great, is there anything else on this new 2020 Jeep that we should know about? Um, it's going to put out 442 pound-feet of torque, which is just uh, kind of mind-blowing. Like it's it's a lot. It's going to be a ton, especially for a Wrangler with all the okay. gearing that we have for off-roading. Okay. It's going to be, so people are going to love it. So if you're pulling something or you're doing the whole off-road over rocks and all that stuff, this is the Jeep for exactly. you. Exactly, and for towing too. Towing? It's going to be okay. great for towing so as well. So when you're going camping or doing all that off-roading and you have all your gear, you can carry that along with you. Yep. I was looking around and you guys also have some interesting other vehicles. If you're in this space, what are the other things you should come see? Definitely check out the new 2020 Jeep Gladiator. This Gladiator? is our first all new pickup truck in okay. almost three decades. Definitely worth checking out. Best in class 7650 pounds towing okay. and a best in class 1600 pounds payload. So wait, you just said it's a Jeep and a truck. Exactly. Combines the together. best attributes of a Jeep oh, with the best attributes yeah, of a pickup truck. And, and you haven't done that in three, you said for it's 30 been a very, yeah, It's very been a very long, long time. time. So something really interesting and new. Great. Is there any other vehicles that you and the fairgoers should come see? Definitely check out our brand new 2020 Jeep Wrangler Willys as well. well this okay. is a brand new special edition. We're doing it for the first time ever on our new Wrangler JL. Okay. So I did read a little fun fact that you guys have been voted one of the 10 best vehicles for dogs. Yes. And I really feel like my Shih Tzu Bella would love putting her head out the side of this, this Jeep. So, oh, she's going to love it, especially yeah. you have the top down, the yeah. doors off. Yeah, we die. It's keeping, Perfect. Her in, like, keeping her in and not jumping out is probably going to be the problem. Exactly. So if you guys are dog lovers, she has some dogs, you might want to come out and check out some of the Jeeps. So, And we will see you at the fair. We're in the Texas Auto Show, in the truck zone, in the Chevrolet exhibit. I am here with Mark. Mark's visiting us from Michigan. So we are here. You guys just rolled this out behind us in your press conference, right? Yeah, we sure did. We rolled out a couple of new Silverado special editions is, here. Yeah. What is this one in particular? So this is our LT Trail Boss Midnight Edition. Oh. So So what does Midnight Edition mean? That I means it is it is blacked it's out black. and has a real bad appearance to it's, it. It really does look, I really love the wheels and all yeah. of that. So if you were a fairgoer, what are the couple of trucks that you guys should come absolutely see in this exhibit? Well, in addition to the, the new LT Trail Boss mm -hmm. Midnight Edition, we also have our Rally Edition here, which okay. is a real sporty looking truck with some great appearance on it as well. And we've got our new Silverado HD out there. So okay. we're, we're launching Silverado HD. It is our, our biggest, baddest, boldest Silverado HD ever. So something worth coming out to see. So one of the things that I really love about your exhibit out here is the Truck Legends exhibit piece. Then it puts a vintage, you know, a gently used or well used uh, uh, Silverado out there on display for fairgoers. And the one this year is just stunning. Yeah, yeah. We, we take a lot of pride in our history and our heritage with uh, Chevy trucks. Uh, so this is something that, that we like to take on the road and, and feature these different heritage trucks as we go. And then also honor what we call our truck legends, who are loyalist group of truck owners who are out there. So uh, it's part of a big club yeah. for Chevy yeah. trucks. So if we have any truck legends uh, coming into the fair, make sure you stop by, come say hi, and, and of course check out all the great Chevy trucks here um, at the fair. There's lots of other Chevy vehicles. Truck zone is just one thing. You also have exhibit inside, and you know you guys have one of the ride and drive only ride and drives on property. 
you actually could go and drive some of the Silverados. Not yeah. the one behind us, but you can go drive a Silverado yep. at the Ride and Drive as well. Yeah, we've got three great areas here. So we've got our truck pavilion. We're outside on truck row. Yeah. And then we have a full auto show um, inside with a little bit of air conditioning as well, Which I might is, add. It's nice on a day yeah. like today. It sure is. And then in addition to that, we've got our Ride and Drive. So yeah. customers uh, can actually come out here and they can drive a variety of Chevy vehicles, cars, trucks, crossovers. But importantly, as you said, yeah, Silverado light duty, yep. Silverado heavy duty. So make sure well, you stop and check them out. it's a little bit of a new course I saw. Yep. And there's a really cool water feature. Yep, and there might be a few ducks. Yep. There's, a, there's there. a cool water feature, a little bit of an off-road uh, feel and attempt to it. So something uh, that's really worth coming to, to check out right. and drive. And the last thing you got to do when you're over here is you got to go play the giant cornhole game, which I think we're going to go do now. So we'll see you at the fair. Let's do it. We're at the Texas Auto Show in the truck zone in the Ford exhibit, as you can tell from behind us. And it looks like I'm here with Brian, who's visiting us from Michigan. So how are you today? I'm great. Great That's to be great. here at the State Fair of Texas. It is. It's a, you know, it's always a good day at the State Fair of Texas. Absolutely. Absolutely. So you guys just uh, rolled out some new features on your heavy duty tr trucks. And I feel like there's a story behind us with yeah, some numbers that you have going on there. Big old set of numbers there, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, is. it is. What does so, that mean? We just introduced our 2020 model year Super Duty and revealed all the capability claims, okay. which are really important for heavy duty truck customers. Yep. I'm sure. And the big concrete numbers you see behind us, uh, we just revealed our best in class maximum towing figure of 37,000 pounds. 37,000 pounds seems like a lot. It's it's quite a bit. It's quite a it's, bit. Uh, you know that Big Tex weighs 25,000 pounds. Is that right? Yeah, so we can. could have fit Big yep, Tex on a trailer easily. with a 12,000 yep, pound. Yep, uh, easily. So there are so many things to see in this exhibit. What vehicles should our fairgoers go see in this? In this? Well, we've always prided ourselves on having the best exterior, yeah. the, the display outside right. because yeah. it's all about trucks yeah. and that's really important for the Texas customer. So we've got a terrific lineup of all Ford trucks from Ranger to F-150 and of course the brand new yeah. Super Duty. We'll have new models and current models for sale. Okay. So it'll be a great opportunity Good for customers see, to see everything. everything. As well as some cool activation yeah. games. Probably yeah. the highlight is that Raptor yeah, RC so course. Kids, the kids love that. You can go down there and play, like, right, it's like a racetrack. And yeah, a little art. There's, there's probably a few prizes and stuff for kids down Absolutely. there too with that. Also, don't forget, Ford also has a great exhibit inside the automobile building. And that is where Hank the Robot is. And That's do you right. know how many selfies get taken with Hank the Robot? I can't guess, but I'm sure a quite lot. a bit. We see you guys. You guys post a lot of pictures with Hank um, every year. So that's a really fun thing to come out and do. And, you know, if it's a little warm out like it is today, it's great to go into the automobile building with a nice air conditioner. It's one of the best kept secrets out here is that you can go in and enjoy all the cars and some free air conditioning. Get a break. Absolutely. All right. Well, we will see you guys at the fair. Oh my gosh, what an amazing media day here at the Texas Auto Show. We're wrapping this up. I'm here with Tom Elman. You are the president of both NBC and Telemundo, which is, you guys have some big announcement, or you know, a lot of things going on there. We've got a lot going on it, but first of all, I, I gotta tell you, Jennifer, this has been the most incredible day. Yeah. It, Man, if you love trucks, this is yeah. this is like the place to be, I for mean, sure. We're kind of standing in the middle of the, of the truck zone. You guys are gonna be enjoying this. The one rule, just in case, a little insider tip, the trucks can't be any higher than big techs. So we don't let any truck be higher than 55 feet. Well, I see one that's pretty darn close. It's pretty high. They push it. Yeah. They push it every year and try to get a little higher. We are so excited to have you guys as part of, of the auto show. You guys came in. Both stations are sponsoring the Texas Auto Show. You're going to be able to see their amazing exhibit in the Centennial Building. Thunder Truck is in there. You're going to get to pretend to do some news broadcast and some other activations in there so be sure and stop by and see that if you like weather if you like nbc5 if you like telemundo 39 we're here okay we're, for three weeks all 24 we're here. days yes, yes every day so be sure to join us for the state fair as well as go see the auto show two buildings one outdoor space over 300,000 square feet you guys are going to love all the new vehicles that are out here this year